A piece of Maine's history will be celebrated this weekend at St. Patrick's Catholic Church in Newcastle as it reopens after a major renovation. The church is more than 200 years old and parishioners say it was showing its age. The key to fixing things, it turned out, was right in their own pews. New Center Maine's Don Kerrigan has the story. St. Patrick's Church was built a dozen years before Maine became a state. No wonder it was getting a bit worn out. If you look underneath here, a lot of these places where it comes in contact with wood, water can get in because wood absorbs moisture. Tom Cronenberger has been restoring old buildings like this for half a century. Well, uh, it was urgent because nothing had been done in, in 200 years. He says some repairs had been done over those years, but brick repairs weren't done properly and some had actually failed. If you look at some of these and you hold them up, you see the thickness of this brick compared to this one? Yeah. And again, that's what had happened. They had taken brick out and replaced it with newer brick. Mm -hmm. and, and you had this all filled up and it didn't look right. They also found many of the stained glass windows had damage and rotted wood. So there was more brick and wood damage here and more window damage there. Church leader Carrie Watson says they needed expert help and found it right in their own congregation. It turned out Tom Cronenberger had retired and moved to the area from out of state and joined this church. He was quickly recruited. After raising money, the church was closed in September, the work crews came in, and the windows came out. This weekend, the congregation will finally get to celebrate it all being done. Preserving and restoring this old church matters to more than just its own congregation. This is part of Maine history. St. Patrick's is the oldest Catholic church in all of New England. For me, the history means that this church was built in 1808 here by Irish Catholics. And it was built up here because Irish Catholics, there was like a little bit of a problem with Catholics in general, an anti-Catholic right. attitude. Little... But the church and the faith endured. And that was in 1808. And we're still here. Yeah. So in terms of history, we're still here. And they say the building is again as strong as their Catholic faith. I think it's probably good for another 100 years. I mean, I say 200 years because but a good hundred years. To be cared for by new generations and a community that values this history. In Newcastle, Don Carrigan, New Center, Maine. And they'll hold mass in the church Sunday morning to celebrate the renovation. And then there will be regular services inside at least two days each week.